Hi, it's Lauren. Welcome back to my craft room. I have a little video today. It's just sharing how I'm using these Chibitronic craft with light kits for a Instagram hop with Chibitronics and Heffy Doodle. I have already done all of the work of my card before recording. So this is just a video on how I used the craft with light kit to make my light up card for the Instagram hop. In this kit, we have batteries, we have LEDs, and we have tape, um, conductive tape to create a circuit on our card. So I will have linked down below the Instagram link, of my Instagram link, where you can start your hop. Um, there's some gift cards, so you definitely want to check it out. So like I said, I already have my white craft with light kit. I've stamped and die cut the Your Weird from Huffy Doodle. I wanted to make a light up UFO card. So I have my galaxy background. I made this with Distress Oxides and Distress Inks as well as some stencil paste and some splatter to make a really pretty galaxy. And then I also have some purple polka dot pattern paper that I have die cut both of these out with the Imperial stitched rectangle dies. Now here's an example of a circuit that I just keep on hand to make sure I remember how to create a Chibitronic circuit. So I'm going to start with figuring out where I want my LEDs to go. So I have my little UFO and the die set comes with a die that punches or die cuts little holes out of the lights on your little UFO. So I need to figure out where I want my lights to go. So I have all of my pieces. I'm gonna go ahead and glue together my UFO. So I have the flying part and then I have the little glass part where I will put my little alien inside. And the reason why I'm assembling as much as I can without actually gluing anything to the card is so I can figure out where exactly this UFO is going to go on my background. So just using some wet glue to glue those pieces together. I have my sentiment already stamped on my moon and that's gonna go on the bottom center of that galaxy background and my little UFO will be hovering right above so I can get an idea of where I am going to place the holes for my light. So I was going to punch a hole and I realized I forgot my little squishy mat here and I have a um, retractable poker and I'm just poking holes through my die cut UFO. So I already used that die, you can see it on the right, that die cuts the five holes. So I just punch through, but I want them to be nice, clean, consistent size holes. So I'm just lining up my die exactly where I punch those holes with my little poker. And then I will use some of my Huffy Memo Tape to keep that in place and I will run it through my die cut machine. Once I have the holes in my background, I will know, know exactly where I need to place my circuit on the purple paper. So I line that up centered. That's how I'm going to glue it together. And I have a pencil and I'm just using my pencil to mark through those five holes. And that's where I need my LEDs to go. Now I know that's really hard to see on camera. So I'm grabbing a Sharpie and I'm going to thicken up those five little dots. So that way you can see it better of where I'm going to line up my LEDs. So first I need to figure out how I'm going to lay out the circuit and I'm going to grab the LEDs, one of the batteries, and that conductive tape. It's kind of like copper tape, but it's a little more fabric-y, so I'm just going to call it conductive tape. I'm going to create a little slot for my battery. These are really nice thin batteries, so I just need to create a little kind of folded scored mini card which will house my battery so I die cut or not die cut I use my little trimmer to cut down a piece of nice dirty white cardstock to two inches by one inch and I scored it in half so it will make a little one by one rectangle or square <laughs> so now I need to figure out where I can place my battery pack so that way it will have plenty of space and where my card receiver will push onto my battery light to um, activate and turn on the LED. So I have a little sentiment and I was going to stamp it and I realized I still need to figure out where my battery is going to go. I thought about placing it behind the moon, but it just wasn't enough space for um, my 
battery to be and a sentiment and my foam tape which you'll see as I continue building the card. So I will add some double sided adhesive to one side of my little battery container here and um, like I said I was thinking about putting it in the bottom right hand corner but then I end up putting it on the top left because I could definitely put it more towards the center of the card and have enough space for the foam tape and I wouldn't have to worry about it running into my stamped sentiment because I want to be able to stamp you know push here so the card receiver knows that the card lights up so now I'm going to start with my conductive tape so I'm going to start on the inside flap of my battery container and I'm going to take it around the flap and then I'm going to start getting my conductive tape to get really close to where I need my five lights to go so in order for my conductive tape to make a sharp turn, I fold it back on itself, which you'll see here. So I go non-sticky side to non-sticky side and then fold it again, sticky side to sticky side. And that will just help you with making those sharp turns. I'm going to do it again here. So I fold back on itself, non-sticky to non-sticky, and then using my finger, hold it in place. Well, I then fold it back again in the direction I want it to go, which would be a sticky side to sticky side. And I'm just going to get that conductive tape and try to make it go in a curve, just like those five lights. And once I have it all the way underneath all of those five little Sharpie dots that I made, I went ahead and cut my tape and I'm using a bone folder to help make sure that that is nice and stuck to that pattern paper background. So that's going to be one side of our circuit and now I need to do the other side. So I'm getting real close to the other side of those black Sharpie dots where my LEDs need to go and I'm following the same kind of curved path and then I'm going to then take my conductive um, second half of this conductive circuit to the other side of my battery container my little battery flap so that way the positive side of the battery will touch one side of my circuit and the negative side of the battery will touch the other so I'm going to go ahead and write which side is positive and which side is negative for myself because I want to remember to put on the LEDs the correct way so there is a positive and negative side to these LEDs so I want to make sure the positive is on the positive side of my circuit and the negative is on the negative and then I'm taking each of these little triangle LEDs and I'm lining it up so the LED covers the dot I want to do my best to make sure that that little LED is going to be right where that black dot is on my background and I have my battery in the little container for the battery so that way I can close it and close the circuit and make sure that my LEDs are lighting up and that it is working as intended. So I'm going to go ahead and place all five of those LEDs, make sure that they are lighting up when I close the circuit, which is pushing on to the battery. And once all five are done, I'm just going to add another layer of that conductive tape over the connection. So right on top of those negative and positive sides of the LEDs and making sure it also touches the conductive tape of that side of the circuit. And then also making sure that the positive and negative sides do not touch each other because I don't want to risk or get too close because I don't want to risk my circuit not functioning once my card is put together. So after I have those LEDs nice and snug in place, I went ahead and trimmed off my excess and there you can see the circuit is working with my battery inside. So now I need to grab my Heffy Doodle foam adhesive. This is really nice thick foam adhesive which is perfect for interactive cards and it's perfect for the thickness of the battery. The battery is slightly thinner than this foam adhesive so it allows a little bit of space in my little battery container here for it to remain um, not touching so the card receiver when they press onto that part of the card the battery will the circuit will complete because the battery is touching both sides both the negative and the positive side of the circuit and the card will line up so I don't want my battery to go anywhere so I am placing some foam adhesive around all four sides of my little battery container so that way it stays inside and um, won't fall out and then the card won't work anymore and then I'm going to take foam adhesive and I'm going to completely cover the rest of my background making sure to leave that little bit of gap around the four sides where the um, galaxy 
background that I made will completely cover the circuit and all the foam adhesive. So I'm going to go around all four sides and then I'm also going to go around my circuit, my um, five lights there because I want it to stay in that UFO. I don't want it to light up the whole back side of the card. So I'm also taking some foam adhesive to kind of close up where those lights light up and that way it looks like it's only lighting up those five little lights on my UFO. So this foam adhesive, I'm using the wider of the two, I believe it's five millimeters and 12 millimeters thick. Um, and I'm just using the wide one so that way I can trim it to be exactly what I need it to um, be. It is three millimeters deep and like I said, it is thicker than my battery. So once I finish up all of the foam adhesive and making sure that there's going to be some nice stability of my background onto this purple polka dotted pattern paper, I will then pull up all of the release paper. There's quite a bit here, so I will fast forward through this. Oh, and it, it's not a big deal if your foam adhesive touches your conductive paper because the foam adhesive is not conductive and it won't ruin your circuit. So I have all my paper peeled up and I went ahead and placed my galaxy background onto the card. As you can see, it doesn't light up unless I press on that part of the background. So now I want to add my UFO so that the holes line up together. So I'm going to be very careful and I'm going to use wet glue so it gives me some wiggle room and make sure all five of those LEDs are lighting up my five little lights on my UFO. And that will pretty much finish up, you know, the light up portion of this card. So I'm going to add my moon with the sentiment to the bottom of my background but i also need to let the card receiver know where they need to push onto the card in order for it to function so i'm going to grab a couple stamps and dies from my set so i already have a um you know push press me i light up picked up and or sorry i light up press me and i stamped it inside of a speech bubble and die cut it out with its coordinating die and i'm going to glue it like my little alien is saying it right where the battery is located in the circuit so there you can see every time i press down to glue it it lights up and if i press anywhere else it doesn't so it's only where that speech bubble is I'm going to go ahead and add it to a top folding A2 size card. Um, this is my favorite style of card. So just using some strong sturdy tape to glue the background and I will add it to my card base. And that will finish up my light up card and how I put together the circuit for this adorable little alien light up UFO. Here is a closer look at the card and like I said, you should definitely check us out over on Instagram today for our hop for a chance to win some gift cards, but I hope you enjoyed this light up card and the tutorial and that you try the Chibitronics craft with light kits yourself. Again, I will have everything you need to know down in the description part of this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you'll click like, and if you're new here, I hope you'll subscribe and come back. As always, you can find everything I use down below in the description box. Thank you and have a wonderful day. Bye.